We're here with Senator Kevin Kramer, a Republican on the Banking Committee, and you've just introduced legislation to reauthorize the Export-Import Bank. A lot of folks outside of Washington don't know much about XM, so what is it, and how long would you reauth for it? Well, first of all, it's been my observation that when, with, that when folks don't know a lot about it, it means things must be going pretty well. <laughs> it's usually when we screw things up that they hear about it. So the Export-Import Bank is, is an important tool that American exporters utilize to get you know, favorable financing or in some cases get financing at all, make you know, difficult deals doable um, to sell products to other countries. Uh, in North Dakota, it's mainly small manufacturers, machine manufacturers, and some sort of specialty crop uh, sales that, that, that utilize Export Import Bank. We have about 20 companies that use it. Um, but of course, some very large companies use it as well. Uh, Boeing, for example, uh, GE uses it a lot. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. And it's really, it's, a, it's sort of a funny thing when you use export credit agencies. There are about 113 of them around the world. The Export Import Bank is the United States version of that to yeah. provide that sort of that financing tool. But ours isn't nearly as liberal as the others is, and yet we still scrutinize it probably more carefully than any other So country. this is bipartisan support. It is. So Kirsten Cinema, good point, because Senator Cinema and I are doing this together. We came into the Congress together in, in the House. We came over here in the same class as senators, uh, both on the committee. We're the, we're the two most junior members of the, of, the, of the banking committee, but it's important to Arizona, it's important to North Dakota. And so How long would you just reauthorize the bank for? Ten years. So Ten it's years. the longest. It's the longest, it's yeah. the longest one ever. There are a lot, it, I can hear Fred Hartford. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, we're going to have a 10-year reauthorization. <laughs> well, there, no question. And, and, but, but the certainty that 10 years brings is part of you know, maximizing the tool, especially in light of you know, sort of the last five years. I, I was actually one of the Republicans that signed the discharge petition five years ago in the House that brought the reauthorization to the House floor. The administration's on board? I mean, you know, I think the administration's on board. I, I will tell you this one, that when the president ran, uh, he was, you know, sort of anti-export-import. Shortly after he was elected and, and learned from more manufacturers and, and, and exporters the importance of it, he really did get on board. Is McConnell on board? Leader McConnell on board? You know, I, I don't know that he, I don't know whether he is or he isn't, but we are gathering momentum rather quickly. We dropped the bill today, as you stated. I already have a number of co sponsors in both parties. Uh, I think Lindsey Graham, Susan Collins, Roy Blunt uh, on our side, Tom Tillis, uh, Cantwell, Murray, uh, Democrats that quickly got on board. And so so we're, we're working it pretty hard. We, we really feel, you know, the, the bank expires, its authority expires September 30th. So we really have a short it's time It's interesting because it's not just on XM where there's a short time period. And this yeah. is just one of the broader tools that folks use internationally for trade. Right. And we're having so many important conversations on trade policy. Right. You mentioned the month of September. I'm, right. You know, Yesterday was Mueller Day, but I was still talking to some staffers who suggested, even on the Democratic side, that they haven't lost hope of ratifying USMCA right. in the month of September. Is that still the working timetable? Well, I'm encouraged by what I'm hearing from Democrats on this in the House. You know, the, the working group has been working. Um, uh, Ambassador Lighthizer has been working with them. Uh, he's received lots of compliments from people that aren't normally complimentary of the administration. I think right on the heels of, of the successfully negotiated budget deal, now let's do our part in the, in the House and the Senate. But uh, I, I feel like there is some governing momentum, some functionality that probably people haven't seen for a while. All of those give me reason for optimism. Uh, so to get USMCA done would be really big. But in light of the protracted trade challenges we've been having, I think the Export-Import Bank becomes all the more important. We need some successes as it relates to our exports.